Mary, you've quit your job, you're on day one of your world tour, what do you do? Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, and welcome to... Day one of our world tour. We are sailing in Greece, everyone. Welcome to our sailboat. We are living on it. I've always wanted a wooden sailboat, and Pierre has made my dreams come true. Look how beautiful it is. It is massive. We can have an amazing time there. How are you Go feeling, fishing. Trina? I'm a little bit apprehensive about it, first of all, because, I mean, some of the windows are broken. I'm not necessarily sure about the bathroom situation. Um, maybe it's gonna sink, maybe it's not. It's sturdy right now. Just kidding, guys. We're gonna show you our sailboat in a little bit, but before we do that, let's go ahead and recap the week because it's been a crazy week in order to get to Samos. So, Monday, New York City, we flew out late Monday evening around 11 p.m., got to Paris on Tuesday around 11 a.m., headed straight to the office for me. Wednesday, went back to work. That was my last day in the office. Really mm. nice had some leaving drinks with my colleagues, and then Thursday had some time to recover, sleep, pack, and we were off to Greece. After a six hour layover in Athens, we finally made it to Samos, just in time for the sunrise, where Piers' uncle picked us up, we're on the dinghy, off to sailboat. This is a sailboat we're gonna be uh, spending time on. We're gonna make a special video to give you a little tour of it. It's gonna be in 360, it's gonna be amazing. But the big problem when we arrive is that actually <laughs> Trina was super tired, right? Yeah, we went to explore, tried to explore a little bit. I was super exhausted, couldn't even speak. I don't know what's saying right now, I'm just saying stuff to say stuff. So, um, so we found a solution for that. But once Trina was awake, there was another problem and Trina got jealous. My honest feelings are over there, there are two people on a stand-up paddleboard and I am super jealous because I want a paddleboard as well. I know, it's kind of a lame problem, but we found a solution and we had awesome neighbors on the water and they actually let us uh, use their paddleboard, so Trina was really satisfied. Thank you, our then, English neighbors. Exactly, Nigel Trina's and Victoria. English. You too, bye Nigel! One thing you have to know is that on a boat, on a sailboat, you have a limited source of power and water. So here's the situation. We were stationed at a bay called Poseidonon. Right now we're on the move because we're out of electricity and water, so we need to go find some right now. We only stayed a day and a half in that bay, and then we had to come back here to Pythagorio. Simply, I, I just cannot edit anything if I'm not plugged because it sucks so much power. Welcome to Pythagorio in the little town. That's super cute. What's happening, Trina? Gonna go look for provision. But it's Sunday, so you are not sure we're going to be able to find up and food. Let's hope so. Here, if I buy another, another pair of shoes, what are you gonna say? No place. I think you're staying here and is we're it, leaving. Is it a no, but look, these are so practical oh, you didn't because get they're cute, and then they're... Oh, guys, how are you? Time shopping instead. Okay, see you later on. See you. So those are Nigel and Victoria. They were in the boat next to us, and super nice and friendly. They actually let us use their uh, stand-up paddle board, so they're amazing. And here is the shop for the food. Veggies. Lots of veggies. Fresh ones. Tomatoes. Trinas. You can eat trinas, apples. Look at those figs, they look delicious. Alright, food problem solved, right? Yes, so far. Alright, so we dropped the food, but now we've got another problem. We've been kicked out of the boat and now we give them the food uh, and... Yeah, they say to come back when it's dry, is that it? Yeah, so his uncle's cleaning the boat right now. It's not dry, so we can't go on the boat. So we just have to rummage around, see what there is. Yeah. the cafe right here and if you look in the background you've got the beautiful church uh, all right what are we having Trina we're having a vegetarian sandwich and we've got a fresh orange juice here you've got a lot of those here in Greece and uh, and so the sandwich yay well, we're waiting for the boat to dry what do you think Trina is the boat dry Thank you. 
I think so. <laughs> I think so. Let's go eat. Yasas! Efanisto, yasas! You know what are you doing? Our website. Link is below guys if you want to check out the blog. I think it's the beginning of the blog for the world tour so true, it should be pretty interesting. How does it look Trina? It looks nice. It's by 12. Nice. So 12 countries, 12 months around the world. Scroll, scroll. Scroll. Woo, drone shot. Nice. <laughs> That's our sailboat. So and as you, can, as you can see, we've got a really cool view, so we're here and we're just in front of the boat, it's really nice. It's exactly what we've been creating for the rest of the day. Pictures, videos, uh, the blog, uh, inspiredby12.com, go check it out. Uh, Trina is a great writer. And on top of that, we can't wait to share with you those amazing sceneries of Greece. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button to get the latest videos. And if you like that video, leave it a big thumbs up, leave us a comment, and remember, make the most of your time on this planet, you never know when it ends. And welcome to the world tour day one. That what happened to your day? sailboat? What else, Trina? Okay. Okay, no, it's not that No, it's not that much. I think that we should make a video on this whole like documenting our year long project because ideally on paper it sounded like a really great idea and then yeah. once you're in Document. it, it's just like. Well, what How do you document? <laughs> what do we? What did you say? What did you say? No, I thought this was a story. No, this is a story. Who well, knows what the story is? Should we document when we go to the take a thing, siesta? So wait a second. <laughs> the other thing that's really confusing is the whole like social media thing. So what do you do with social media if you don't have enough batteries on your computer? If you don't have like internet, for example, what do you do? No. You just give up and go swimming. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Remember, guys, if you like that video, leave it a. I guess I was supposed to do the drone shot, but I think it's too dark now. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow. So this is going to be our house for the next two weeks, but actually I have to uh, live in the dinghy because there is not enough space on the main boat. They don't want me in, so I kind of had to sleep here. It's kind of small, but I think it's going to be doable. 